In the 1500s, Italy used the mind of God through the hands of Michelangelo to paint the Sistine Chapel. In South Louisiana, we've got George Stewart, a local legend who's painted hundreds of restaurants, murals, and historical pieces. Today, his work brings him here to the Senate chamber at the Louisiana State Capitol to restore the ceiling after water damage. Louis Guerin is a painter of the large murals, and he had two helpers, and they were uh, Louis Brogirl and Andrew McKay. But George doesn't have helpers. He's doing this entire job solo with days that started at 7 in the morning and don't end until 9 o'clock at night, climbing scaffolds fearlessly with nothing but a trusty bag of chips and a cup of Coca-Cola to keep him going. So how old are you, George? I'm collecting Social Security, and this is a, this is a joy to be able to do this type of work. It's not easy work by any means. George tediously researches the history behind his piece, matches the exact hue of each strip of paint, and most of the time the paint used back then doesn't even exist anymore. And then there's the matter of using the scaffold. <sighs> Those OSHA regulations are written in blood. So how does he match the colors? He assigns each color a number, and then the whole project turns into a titan-sized color by number children's book. These are patterns that I use up on the, on the ceiling in that area that I'm fixing to repair. It's one thing to create a work of art that's never been done before, and George is one of the best at doing that. It's another thing to get inside the mind of a phantom artist and recreate their work. But if you love history, that's what you do. And just as it always does here in Louisiana from time to time, the moisture will eventually find its way back into the paint, and there will come a time for ceilings to be restored again. And George has this message for the painters of the future. I hope that they have a sense of history. Just, just carry my spirit forward. As humans, we create. But once we create something, we are responsible for it. Just ask any parent. Just as George treats each of his projects as if it were his child. As an artist, this has been an amazing journey. And this, this project is probably one in a lifetime. Holding on for dear life with the pigeons, Christopher Leach, NBC 33 News.